Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe. How are you today? Um, happy Wednesday. I hope you're doing well and you're having a nice week after the 4th of July holiday. Ellie and I are just, um, well, we've been busy. I just have to say that. She is looking over here because we are, we are going to talk today about pomegranates. And I have some paper mache pomegranates that I've had for a long time. And um, here's one, and it has that little um, top that pomegranates have, and she's quite interested in it. It's not real. And then here's another one that's a little bit lighter color, kind of almost apple looking. And this has some yellow on the side, and she kind of is enjoying or wondering what we're going to be doing with pomegranates. And I bet you are too. Yep, it's gonna be a pomegranate day. Well, I love pomegranates for one thing. I've got hair in my face. We've got hair, between dog hair and my hair, we've got hair. <clears throat> so let me just check here and make sure we're on live. I hope you're seeing me. I have some special things planned for today. Um, let's see, I'm not really, I'm gonna to have to do a little something here. My computer isn't totally linking in. Okay, there. I think I'm seeing that I'm live. Let's check it again. Okay, I think we're I think we're going. Let's I need to get right to my page. There we go. Okay, great. Pam, good to see you. Carol. Schaefer, Marsha Long from Texas. How is your weather, all of you? Actually, it's been a fairly cool week for us. For um, We get a lot hotter in September and October. We get very, very hot. But it's been kind of in the 70s for us, which has been nice. Well, I should that is, a, that is not true. That would be downtown San Diego. Um, up here, we've been in the 80s, and we crept up over 90, but that's still not too bad. Ross, good to see you. Um, welcome, welcome. So, we're having a pomegranate kind of day today. I've been super busy. Um, I just got everything for the paper shares, and so the package, the big box came today for the paper shares. So, I'm going to have to get to work right after I'm finished here cutting all the paper shares and I know that some of you um, 103 in Texas oh my gosh you guys hot and humid in Virginia yes I used to actually live in Virginia Linda I lived in Fairfax and Oakton and I went to um, Fairfax High School and then they opened Oakton High School and I went there but I didn't graduate from there so I don't know if you're in that area you're probably south but anyway, that was when I was a teenager. <laughs> That's when I was, I was just a teenager. Um, yeah, so um, don't forget to put prize. So I'm gonna tell you, um, I'm, I'll tell you who won from last week at the end today, at the end of our video. But um, I am gonna tell you what the prize is for next time um, you're gonna get what we make today. So you can already start putting prize in the comments, my YouTube people and my Facebook people, if you think you might want what we make today. Anytime you can put the word prize. Um, oh, you're about an hour south of Fairfax. Okay, great. Oh, Diane, 104, Cave Creek, Arizona. Oh, my gosh. I know I don't really have that much to complain about. I really don't. Well, um, Let's see, I am going to put Ellie down. I kind of forgot to put on my little, I have this special microphone that makes it more clear for you guys. So let me just hook this on right now while I, I forgot about it. I was so busy with the pomegranates and everything. Let me see. Oh. Maybe that makes it so that you can hear better. That's a special little microphone I got that makes, makes you be able to hear better. Okay, what is going on? Well, you all know we have a brand new catalog, beautiful, beautiful July to December mini catalog, so many fabulous things um, in it, and um, therefore, we're starting to think about the holidays, right? So along with a girlfriend of mine, a fellow demonstrator and a dear friend, I am um, 
for this month's um, classes to go, I'm doing Christmas in July. We're actually having a local class here in San Diego in Poway. So if you're interested, let me know and I can give you those details. But uh, really what we're doing, I'm using this as my class to go. And my friend Robin and I are both designing the cards. And we're doing five cards and um, a 3D item. And I'm going to just um, pop you down so that I can show you what I, what I want to show you so that you can see a few of the things that we're going to make here. Let's see. Let me try it again. Whoops. Okay. There we go. I think I was just going a little fast. Okay, so this is the suite that we're going to be using. Allison, good. Oh, good. I'm glad that improved the sound. Good. Okay. So this is the suite we're using for Christmas in September. It's called the, uh, I always say September, but it's Christmas in July, my class to go. Uh, Christmas in July, light the lights aglow. We're using all of the suite. <clears throat> but we're featuring the Christmas light stamp set and dies. And that's what this class is all about. It is a beautiful bundle. And here are some cards. These aren't the cards I made that we're going to use, but there are others that I made that we didn't choose. And these are from this set. And look at these dies. I mean, they are beautiful. And um, you're going to get the stamp set or the bundle, whichever you choose and a half a package of the Lights Aglow Designer Series paper, which is spectacular. And we've used it in all of our cards. Now, again, these aren't the ones we're, we're actually using. These are ones that we decided against. So if you can imagine how pretty the ones we're actually doing in the class to go. Here's another one. It has this beautiful snowflake, and this snowflake was cut out with the dies. Um, and cut out from the designer series paper, which is gold and um, very vanilla. And then this is some more of the paper. These are some more of the stamps. It's such a gorgeous stamp set and bundle. Now here um, I used um, an embossing folder to create this card. This personally is my favorite. And then here's another one that I made that we are not doing. <laughs> These we just made, both made gobs of cards, and then we decided on the five um, the five that we wanted to feature. And so here's another fun fun card. So all that to say, we are going to have a blast. So um, I just brought I printed out this stuff from my com, from my computer so I could remember to tell you the way you register is you just email me Peggy at prettypapercards.com and um, I can bill you via PayPal. What you're doing is you're pre-ordering, as you all know, per Stampin' Up! Um, rules. And um, here you get a, you're gonna get so much more than my, well, I don't know if it's more than my regular class to go, but you get Robin's influence, I'll tell you that. So option one is the stamp set alone, but of course it comes with PDFs and, um, and it comes with the paper and all of that. That's $56 and that's including shipping. Option two is the, the Christmas lights bundle. It includes the paper, the PDFs, all the designs, everything you need, pre-cut, 83. And then just in case anybody wanted to get the whole entire suite, it's a beautiful suite. I got the suite and there's we're using a lot of stuff from the suite. So if you wanted to get the suite, it's $175. Maybe some of you have already gotten this suite. And um, the pre-order ends on July 11th, which is Monday. So I'll talk about this on Friday on my live also. But we have to pre-order by then. Um, the class itself, the local class, is July 23rd, and everything will ship on the 25th if you get the class to go. So that's the scoop on that. And uh, it's a beautiful, you will get a beautiful head start on your uh, Christmas projects. All righty. Now, the next thing, you may have seen this on my blog and on my Facebook page. Have you guys seen my little pink glamper? I have had this guy all over the place. And I think, hi, Colleen, good to see you. I think as I continue this 
this month and maybe even next month because it's a celebration item i am going to have this little pink glamper go everywhere i'm insane about this little guy and i don't know if you saw um what i made I saw another demonstrator. We have um, a place where we can look for other demonstrator projects and we share. And another demonstrator made these adorable little holders that you, you know, with the glamper on the front, the back, you could decorate. I didn't take the time to. And I had so much fun. I made a whole fleet of pink glampers. I'm just nuts about these, about this glamper. And I figured out that this little box holds a business card. Isn't that cute? I mean, it can actually hold five or 10 business cards. So if you have a desk and want to um, have a, a pink glamper hold your business cards, <laughs> you can definitely do that. If you're interested, let, let me know. I don't need to do a tutorial because she, this, the other demonstrator did a tutorial. But all I want to tell you is be looking for my pink glampers to pop up all over the place. And if you're, inter if, if you're interested in actually creating them, what you need is the tree lot dies from Celebration. They're in the Celebration catalog, and I'll show them to you. Right on page, they're on page 12 and 13. And you get, if you can believe it, 24 dies. That is what has allowed me to make this little glamper so cute. Look at all the, it even has a little dog, it has lights, it has little flag banner, trees. I haven't even used the trees. And here are some samples they made. It coordinates with a stamp set in the, in the mini. But, um, so it's $100, uh, for a hundred dollar order you get to choose this free as a celebration gift you guys know how celebration works and so the, I just wanted to kind of show you these little these dies so this is the glamper die and then this little thing that creates the top and bottom the, the I've used um, here I've used polished pink and it's like an embossed little top and bottom that's kind of ribbed. And then I put a designer series paper in the center. Do you see those little tiny curtains? I'll show you. Look at this teeny tiny die. That is the curtains and they're even embossed. I can't even believe it. This little bow, I, this is the little bow. I mean, it's just, it's hysterical. I am insane about it. I put some uh, vellum behind the door the, the little hole in the door and there's a wreath if you want to put a wreath on the door anyway these things are too cute so be on the lookout because I'm calling it the adventures of the pink glamper so the glamper is going to be going all over you know how you just have fun sometimes and that glamper just gave me so much fun I can't even stand it and I'm just going on with my fun okay and we're going to continue with fun right now. So what are we going to make today? We're using another celebration product and we are going to make a gift bag of pomegranate thank you notes. I don't know if you saw the pomegranate stamp set in the celebration catalog and let me get it for you. It's at the very back. It's for hosting if you host if you host a class or a get together and you then you can get this free po perfect pomegranate uh, stamp set and so all you have to do is host and have your class be $300 or over and this comes free and you also get to choose all the other um, all the other uh, items that are free gifts so like if you ordered a hundred dollars and you had other gals that attended your class, um, for your $100, you still get to choose your free gifts from the rest of the Celebration catalog. But because you hosted, you, and if your um, class order is over $300, or maybe you want to order enough for yourself for $300, they just put this in automatically. You don't even need to tell them that you want it. They just pop this in automatically. And I just got it, and I just want to show you 
So I've had fun making stuff, and that's what I want to use today. Here's the stamp set, and I kept looking to see if it was distinctive. Um, it doesn't say distinctive, but you'll see when we start making how beautiful these stamps are. So I've made a little gift bag of, of pomegranate note cards. And what I did here is I stamped out the pomegranates and I cut them because it doesn't have dyes. But you know I like to fussy cut, so no problem. I tied a pretty bow here from some new um, soft seafoam ribbon that we have. And here they have a little, it has little dot stamps. And this is the flower, and we're going to talk more about that here in a second. Um, so let's take out the thank you cards. And so this is going to be the gift, okay, this, or rather, my prize for this week. You're going to get this gift bag and the three thank you cards that are inside. So you really want this prize. So make sure that you put the word prize in your comments, because I know you want this. And I wanted to tell you, this um, little gift bag is the embossed, it's called an embossed treat bag, and I don't know, I'll hold it up really close. Can you see the embossing there? And it's, it's fairly thin. It's the same on the back and the front. The embossed treat bag, it's on page 140 of the annual catalog. You get 10 of these for $7.50, so they're only 75 cents each. I think that's quite a bargain myself. Um, so let's see what is inside our gift bag. It's three um, three pomegranate thank you notes. Now they're ma I made them on the Stampin' Up cards and note and envelopes, note cards and envelopes. You know what a great um, bargain the note cards and envelopes are. And this is the first one. This one I did not put a sentiment, but we are going to make this card right now because I want to show you how adorable this stamp set is. And I put some leaves on the inside, some leaves, or I put a pomegranate on the envelope. Here's another one I made, and this does say thanks. This will come, if you win the prize, you'll get this. And I know it looks like a little hat, but I did a little research on um, Google. Can you imagine? And I looked up pomegranates. My mother-in-law has a tree, but I don't always catch seeing it you know, in full bloom with pomegranates coming off of it. Roz, you had pomegranates. Yes, it is for Rosh Hashanah. It definitely is. And Yom Kippur. I know that um, for the Jewish holidays. And definitely it's, it's a, I love, one reason I love the stamp set it is, um, it's also one of what's called the seven species in the Bible, the pomegranate. And I love, I, not only do I love them, but I love it for that. So anyway, when I did the research, what I found out is this is the flower, the bloom, and um, it it may not, I used um, Calypso coral, but all I know is the flower is lighter than the actual pomegranate. It's a lighter color flower. So this is the flower, and then this is how the pomegranate grows. It grows upside down with the um, that part underneath. I'm pretty sure that's how I saw it. Allison, yes, it's a beautiful plant. And the artwork is gorgeous, Roz. And so I am pretty sure from my research, now you guys can correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's how it grows. So I made one little card like that. And then another card I made just with the blossoms coming out. And it's really cute. And I'll tell you, the stamp has um, kind of, it's like the stem of the leaves here just ends with no leaves on it. And I'm pretty sure that's because, and this is what I did here, is I attached a blossom. I think you're supposed to attach the blossom. Ah, okay, they were plentiful in the Garden of Eden. Boy, I'm just learning so much. So, and I wanted to tell you, so if you don't have or get the pomegranate uh, stamp set, I wanted to just let you know, when I um, show you things on Facebook Live and YouTube Live, it's because these are ideas, you can use any set to make a gift bag and three thank you cards, note cards inside. So I, I just want to let you know, I am hoping to give you ideas for your own card making. Um, I mean, if you love the set, definitely get it. But that's, you know, that's what I want to tell you is hopefully I'm giving you ideas for your own card making and gift giving. Okay, let's get started. 
Okay, now because this stamp set, here it is, and it's photopolymer, so we're going to use our, um, I'm going to use an additional pad this time, even though my my base is padded, but I'm going to use this additional pad because um, I noticed that my pomegranates turned out a lot better if I did. Okay, so the note card itself is, um, when you fold it, this is how they come, and you get 20 note cards, 20 envelopes, $7. It's the biggest bargain. It is the biggest bargain, totally. So I just pulled some out here, and I'm going to fold that in half. So when you fold it in half, the size is 3 and a half by 5. <clears throat> so I wanted to go in a half an inch or a quarter of an inch on all sides um, to add an additional piece of basic white cardstock that I'm going to stamp on. So this piece is three by four and a half. And that's what I'm going to stamp on, and then I will adhere it with Stampin' Dimensionals to the um, to my card. Okay, <clears throat> so let's start out by doing the leaves. And I'm going to use, I have to get my little sample going over here. I'm going to use, these are our colors, they're beautiful colors together. Granny Apple Green, Calypso Coral, and Real Red. Now I'm not going to use the Calypso Coral right now because I'm not going to do a flower on this note card, but you saw it. And it's this is just a beautiful color combination. Yes, they kind of are messy. Um, okay, so we're going to do the leaves first, so I'm going to use some Granny Apple Green ink. And here is the leaf stamp. And I'm going, what I'm going to do is try to get it at the top of my piece of paper so that um, I have plenty of room for my pomegranates. Okay, and I'm going to do it twice. I'm going to do one kind of over here like that. And with stamps that have a lot of dimension like these, this adding the stamp and pierce mat really makes a difference, I think. And then I'm going to bring this in from the side to, so that we have leaves all across the top. Okay, now we're going to start with our pomegranates. And this is one thing I wanted to show you that is so adorable. I think personally it's adorable. This stamp, this one stamp, is the stamp that has the pomegranate and then the one cut in half on its side. And I'm going to show you how this works. It is, I just was giggling when I saw how cute this is. Okay, so let's see, I want to stamp it this way. Let me get the stamp pad in where you can see it. And I'm getting a nice amount of ink on there. And then I'm going to turn this guy a little bit like this so I have room to, to fit a full pomegranate in there. And I'm going to try to get this a little bit like it's coming off the stem. Kind of just like that. And look at this. Look at what this one stamp does. Isn't that darling? And amazing and beautiful. But now, wait, there's more. There is a stamp that is the pomegranate seeds that go that go right in here. I can't believe it, and it's so darling. So I'm going to ink this up, and I'm just going to show you how cute this is. And it gives different shading. That's why I'm sure this must be um, a distinctive stamp. And it matches right with that the design right in there and you just put this little guy in here and stamp and look at those seeds can you see them isn't that just fabulous I just I was just blown away when I saw that it is so dimensional really isn't it it's beautiful okay now we're going to add the one large pomegranate sitting on the side Let me see, I want to get plenty of ink there. And let's see how I put this guy. I'm going to put him kind of down like that. Okay, there we go. And just that alone makes the cutest, doesn't just that alone make the absolutely cutest um, 
card. I'm just, really, it's just adorable. Yes, how fun. Your mouth is watering. Yeah, it looks so realistic. So just one little thing I'm going to do here is I am going to, I have, there are several other leaves um, that are more like little groupings of two or three leaves, stamps, and I'm just going to add one other little uh, leaf, a couple of leaves, and I'm going to put them in the center there. I'll show you. Okay, so I'll move this over. And I'm going to cut these and put them right there just because it adds a little something. And again, this does not come with dies. Now, those of you who have the fancy machines, you could, um, those would cut these out. I forget, scan and cut machine. Some of you have those. But I really don't like mind fussy cutting. And this is a quick little snip here to get these little leaves and it just adds a little bit of dimension to the note card um, because we've stamped more we've stamped a lot of it flat there so I'm just gonna cut this out real quick just like this there we go and then I'm thinking I can add I'm just gonna add that right in there like that with some little mini dimensionals I think it just adds a little bit of I don't know because that spot just looked a little blank to me now I had used um, I had put us the thank you sentiment on the other cards but I on my on my gift bag set I did not put a sentiment on this one because I really couldn't figure out where to put it um, I'm gonna think here while I I'm gonna adhere this to the card base to the note card base I'm going to just, the note cards are so great. They are um, thick, basic white cardstock. And that is what is so great about them because they're nice and firm. And I just can't say enough about these note cards. But I guess why I'm saying that is because when I want this card to really lay flat so I can show it to you better, it's popping up a little bit. So I'm just going to take these little dimensional covers off and put this right on here like this. And I like having a larger border around it. And I just, I really do think this card, now that I look at it again, I think it's just fine. I really don't think we need a sentiment. There's not really enough room for a sentiment to go across. I will tell you that when I, the other cards, the sentiments that I used were for, from Sending Smiles, I used a note of thanks. That is such a great little stamp, and it's just a small stamp, and you can trim it up any way you want. So let's go back in now, and let's add a little something inside of our card the way I like to. I think this time I'll just add a little side view of the pomegranate. What do you think? The large pomegranate. Let's just do that. Pretty cute. And let's put a little, did I have an envelope? Oh, here's the envelope. Yeah. Let's put a little side view of the pomegranate on the envelope too. Make sure I have it straight. I mean, really, who gets a card with a pomegranate? I would personally love it because I love pomegranates. Isn't that just, I mean, it just makes you giggle because it's so, it's not only um, nice, but cute. Uh, it's just um, humorous in a way. Uh-oh, I got a little boo-boo on there. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't the one that's going to any of you. So this is just, this was my home sample. So... I'll switch it out with my better one. I must have stuck my fingers in the ink. Bad me. But you know, we all do that. And I'll, I'll fix that up. So here is your card from today. I just think it's so cute. I hope you love the pomegranate as much as I do the perfect pomegranate stamp set. And if you do have a group of friends over or have um, a class, or you can get them to order, you can do like an online party where you um, they can all order online and um, if you do it through me I can give you a special host code that will allow you to get the perfect pomegranate set if the group orders $300 in product um, 
but I think this is an adorable stamp set and I really wanted to show it to you today. Okay, I'm going to come back now and we'll do our prize. Okay, where's our prize? So last week, the prize was, um, from last week, it's a set of Starry Sky uh, Stampin' Blends alcohol markers really good prize and I had lots of you that wanted it and I did the random number gen generator um, and Marsha Long won the Starry Sky Stampin' Blends. Marsha, congratulations! I know she's been wanting to win a prize. She, I think she might have put on there, I hope I win. So I wanted to let you know that um, that you won. I, I have your address, Marsha, and I will get these out to you. Now, for the rest of you, you're going to get, if you put prize um, today or anytime up until next Wednesday, you will get this darling little gift bag filled with all three of the pomegranate note cards that, we, that I showed you, including um, the one we made today, but not that one, the one without the little ink stain. And I will put a, I will put a little leaf over it. Thank you for letting me know that, Roz. Um, so put, be sure to put prize in the comments because I really want you to win this. And thank you for stopping by. It's been a blast. Please be looking for the adventures of the pink glamper. I am having too much fun with that little guy. And you never know where he might show up. Okay, you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and stay cool.